That one slid by the bucket. Two, four, five, eight, four. Tournament leader Steve Wunderlich. A little bit discouraged. He wanted to answer Dell Ballard Jr.'s rush with there's Cindy Wunderlich, his wife, who works at the University of Missouri at St. Louis in the accounting department. Just flew in to root her husband on in this championship match. And what I was saying is Ballard with those strikes has put a little extra pressure on Wunderlich, threw a little hard, left himself a tough spare. Wonderlich, who is an excellent high school baseball product, uh, prospect in Missouri. He went to uh, Parkway School. He played third base, batted in the 360s. And I don't know whether he'd have pursued that much farther, but obviously he's made a good choice as he's been one of the top pros for a number of years. Now, seventh frame trails by five. <laughs> Now is faced with a four pin. Walter Ray Williams Jr. finished 32nd this week. Mike Albee 49th. Wonder like the release. Watch the action of the wrist straight underneath the bowling ball. You can actually see if you can a little bit blurred. The thumb coming out first. Fingers staying underneath the ball, Chris, and letting that wrist snap that ball. I got an old timer friend in northern Michigan, Jack Goodcut. Loved that shot because he's bothered with his release. Well, you got to get the thumb out first and use the wrist. Close championship match for the 13th Quaker State Open. Six pins. This man leads as a four-bagger up, shooting in the seventh frame. As the match goes on, the pressure gets greater. There's less talking, <laughs> less talking to himself. Agreed, $27,000 first prize at stake. And the matches have been so close today. All four matches, a very competitive lane condition here at Forum Bowl in Grand Prairie, Texas. It was one of the few championship rounds, Chris, and uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I haven't seen a split in the four games. I don't want to jinx anybody, but I cannot recall anybody getting an open frame somewhere in the context of the 10 frames. That's right. Only three frames left. Ballard has a five-pin advantage. I hit it. I hit it. Coming up high, and we have seen the 3 6 10 a lot today. You're right, and that's one reason we haven't had the splits. The ball is breaking so sharply, it actually takes out the left side of the pins, and so the four pin doesn't stand. Now, watch the action of this bowling ball. It cuts to the left side of the head pin. The ball hooks so much, it drives a two into the 4 7 area and it avoids that disastrous split. Obviously, a tough spare, but much easier than a 4 6 split. There we go. Dell's mom, Shirley. Steve, who won a Masters title, a doubles title with Les Dykes, seeking that first singles title been so elusive. I'm sure one of big, uh, Steve's biggest fans is Billy Walden, who has finished second with Steve in the Seniors Doubles Classic and has trained Steve Wonderlich to this fine-tuned professional bowler that he is now. Now Wonderlich, who had an early lead of 20 pins, has dropped in arrears by two, could recapture that lead, ninth frame championship match. Over. And uh, here's a not often seen 
until today. We've seen uh, with the sharp breaking crisp of the bowling balls, and the reason it is is the back end of these lanes, the last 18 feet is so dry, the ball grabs right there and just turns left, makes a left turn, a little bit because of the, the high humidity. We've had rain for four days, and what that does is, according to our lane maintenance crew, is keep that back in where it really hooks. I'm sure those of you watching, if you're among the 68 million, million that bowl 10 games or more each year, you've had uh, near misses like that. Ballard going at a 226 pace, Wonderlic 224, ninth frame. It's up for grabs. Yeah. Hook, hook. Yeah. Well, it just seemed like he let up on the speed at the last moment, but it worked. Got the magic.